recording. Hi, Craig. Hi, Mr. FBI. We, we could use a tank if you know anybody. recording in the name makes me Oh, ladies and gentlemen, thank you for joining us here today. My name is Jacob. I'm going to be your dungeon master. We're here breaking out with our first campaign using the starter set. Our boys are running the Lost Mines of Phandalin. We have ourselves our intrepid rogue, Delac. Hello. <laughs> we, have, we have a very charming warlock slash, I'm sorry, sorcerer slash cleric, Kyveras. Like, who's the wizard? What's up? <laughs> <laughs> so wizard. And a very enigmatic, ridiculous, and all around funny motherfucker, Dan Rock. <laughs> what the frick? <laughs> Can we get a take two on that? Yeah, are you being smothered underwater? <laughs> what the fuck? Your fucking mic. Yeah. Well, God, bro. Damn it. What the fuck? I just fucked. Why my sensitivity so shiz? Yeah. Let me turn it down. There you go. Yeah, I think you maxed Alrighty, out the take mic. Two. <laughs> you can just say Dan Rock and we can edit it later. <laughs> yeah, we, we can edit that. Hello. My name's Dan Rock. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Every time he talks, <laughs> oh, for he turns into a fucking bully walk. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I mean, he can use all the cool you want, but anyway. Uh. Be a good uh, spy. Every time he talks, it sounds different. <laughs> He's always doing different things. I go ha. I'll just edit in the the time where you're like, I want my ten coins back. <laughs> <laughs> Any, anytime he's ever introduced himself, just take that clip from the video yeah. and paste it over top of the whatever the fuck he just did. <laughs> what? No. Hey, what's your name? Hey, let's be right. <laughs> All right. All right. Um, okay, so Droop is basically my order. In is going to be Drew Brutz Kyvera's in. Um, and then Drew is just going to fire off like two Eldritch Bull. Wait, is, is Runtz with Susan and I? No, I just. Okay, yeah. Uh, Dan Rock, you behind me. So, Drew. Why don't you Kyvera's get behind the big metal <laughs> slab? Yeah, why don't, why don't you Dan get Rock behind Dan, the big Dan. slab of AC? Because... Oh, it's because as you approach the door, you would have to do stealth check. And let's face it, Dan Rock has this advantage on self chart. Oh. Uh, well, I suppose we're rolling self then, Frank. You, uh, you see Susan. Susan kind of like makes a motion. He goes, Rutz, do you trust me? No. R Rutz, do you trust me? Yeah, he kind of looks confused, but nods yes. All right. You sneak up. They got their backs to us. You sneak up the two of them. We'll attack them from here. Sneak attack. Yeah. Sure. This is the DM talking. Yes. I'm totally yeah. in on this too, by the so, way. Rutz needs to roll stealth, right? No, Rutz still has stealth. They, oh, oh are we using the same? I'm using their, yeah, because you haven't, like, gotten out of stealth yet. Okay. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, I get to roll with my 29. You're yeah. DM so, you're a stealth attack. <laughs> <laughs> so, the, the idea is the fact that Rutz and Susan are going to go up. Um, Visa me. What? I'm on the third one. Yeah. So, they're relatively close to each other, so if Rutz gets into a particular spot between the middle one, he is within five feet of the other two. Yeah. Uh, Susan cannot see. That is why he's walking with Runt. I mean, and I have it too, so he can. I can help. Be your guide. Yeah. So he's like one hand on Russ's shoulder. He's got a short sword out. He's just going through, 
And he, oh, as he gets closer, he can start making up, like, the outline of the creature. Yeah. Ruts kind of, like, motions toward the one towards the right. He looks at the one toward in the middle. Looks over his shoulder. Motions to the left one at Kalak. Yeah. Looks over to the doorway where he sees his, his brother, his father figure, and the big metal slab. And <laughs> holds a finger up. And then, like, swirls it. Just as Kalak rolled a hit. 21. That hits. That hits. And Rutz needs to roll the hit. So I'm assuming he's going to be going dagger, short sword, whatever he's got. Uh, 22. <laughs> yeah, that hits. Um, Do we roll so, the damage? Yeah, so you roll your damage. I don't think Rutz has sneak attack. But he does have enough. Uh, he, he does have, like, it, uh, a surprise run. Oh, wait. Can he use... Hold on. Fuck, is that a spell? What is that? Uh, okay, yeah, so I would have to cast Hunter's Mark. Damn. Fuck it. No, no, not fuck it. So, yeah, he's just gonna do a normal attack. Yeah, I hear a challenge! <laughs> oh, no. I wanted to use Hunter's Mark, but I can only use it twice. And I don't wanna... You know. Oh, wait, no, I can just use a level 1 Hunter's Mark. Fuck it, yeah. He's gonna well, Hunter's Mark the one he's about to hit. Uh, I was gonna say that casting that would alert them. Oh, shit, never mind then. Okay. Yeah. So... Oh, because it is verbal, right? right. Okay, uh, Collect, did you run your damage? Uh, yes. Okay. Uh, Fifteen. Fifteen total. Okay. Yeah. That's with the sneak attack. Yeah, that's 46s. Plus six. Okay. So, Ruts does not get any bonus to attack? Uh, not... Or to damage. Not to damage, because he doesn't have sneak attack. Okay, that's fine. You said 15? Yeah. Uh -huh. Rusted. Uh, 8. 8? Still yeah. respectable, still respectable. No, that's uh, miscalculated. And Susan did 19. I rolled yeah. so bad on those d6s. <laughs> yeah, even though Susan got like two fives and a 6, it's still not enough. I got two twos and a 1. <laughs> mm. Dude, if I can get a poison dagger, that'd be sweet. I know, right? Uh, so, that is two very hurt ghouls and one kind of itchy ghoul. Uh, well, I suppose I now everybody... Initiative. Oh, uh, they weren't participating? The other... Yeah, the other team doesn't, like, bust in and do anything? I mean, I oh. guess you can at this point, yeah, if you want to shoot, like, a real quick yeah, spell. Yeah, Droop is going to use his Eldritch Blast. That's okay. why I had him in first. Oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. Yeah, uh, go ahead and roll two to hit. Okay. Technically, Drupal couldn't you know. cast over his head, Kaveras? I'm not going to do that. I'm just saying. I so mean, yeah, tec listen, I technically could, but I don't want to, like, ruin this for Jacob. Okay, sorry. I'm what just trying to help. Do you want me to, Jacob? You want me to cast a spell over top of Droop's head? Yeah. All right, then. That's what we'll do. Anyway, Drew <laughs> gets a 18 on the first blast. That hits. Uh, he rolled 18 on the second blast, so... That hits. Yeah. Uh, the first one, he uh, just random, because he wouldn't know which one are injured. So. Oh, they're all injured. Well, I know, but he wouldn't know which one's like, oh, this one's worse. He literally just busted in and cast it and... What's his damage for those two? So the first one is 11. All right. Second one is only four. Okay, so you watch... Well, damn. Um, you watch the two ghouls that uh, Kalak and Susan stab just Ooh. fucking... Their chest explodes. Oh. As these beams of Eldritch energy. Yeah, they were low. Damn. Uh, 
rips right through them, and the middle ghoul that poor poor Rutz wasn't able to put a big hurt on him, but he did some damage. Uh, he he turns to everybody. It's, it's at that, that moment where if a ghoul had intelligence enough, they oh, have intelligence enough. Shit. Yeah, he's got that wide-eyed moment, like oh, <laughs> fuck. And then, <laughs> so how far away is the ghoul from Pether? Oh, because if you're at that door, it's about thirty feet. Oh shit. Okay. Uh, never mind. He'll firebolt over. Rutz. All right. We'll say this is happening at the same time because this is a surprise round. It's all happening at the same time. Go for it. Nat so, twenty. Nat <laughs> oh my <laughs> god. Ace in the oh, hole. Forty six. What? Twenty six. Yeah, uh, <laughs> just melts this thing. Oh my not. god! It's got fourteen health. Fucking kill it. <sighs> Fucking hold out the head. Firebolt. Fucking shoot this <laughs> bolt of fire at him. Man. This and was you guys, lingers you in his chest watch. for a second before it and it just burns alive. You guys watch it in the, in this six second span. Your three stealthy boys sneak up. Rutz is giving the little signals. He's like, you know, do the little s swing to attack right as soon as they move, the you know, stab. Susan, dabbing into the sh back of the shoulder. It's it's a heavy wound. Kalak, dabs into the lower back, nicks the, the spinal column. It's a heavy wound. Rutz cuts across the back, not able to get a good dig in. It's not that bad of a wound. But you see the three the three ghouls go to stand from the attacks. You watch as fucking Power Ranger style Droop swings his, his crystal forward. Two beams fire out, kind of spin around each other, and then boom, the two on the right and the left explode through their chest. And as soon as he fires his beam, fucking Kavara's finger gunning, fire bolt, bam! Right into the chest, the other one that kind of had a moment to realize, oh shit. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's dead. Yeah, so, man. uh, where are the it's other like, drugs? The only nat 20 of the night, my used it on that. <laughs> uh, yeah, I think I got one earlier. Dan Rock's holding a pebble in his paint can. <laughs> 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 that was like the most strategic and successful thing I, I think we've done in this entire I've, camp. <laughs> I've never heard the phrase that everyone gets one. Uh, this is our one. This is your one. Your one. Damn. I said, I was like, oh, hey, maybe I'll, you know, let this guy get a swing in, you know, but Jacob's like, no, do your attack. So I did my attack. <laughs> it was worth one. it, though. If you if it wasn't going to if it was going to survive your firebolt, I was legit gonna let Garrett do a quick dash in and just be like, I want to see what he does. Garrett, do so. Yeah, oh. I was gonna I was gonna wait for some wild ass fucking bullshit. <laughs> I was like, yeah, so I throw my paint. Gun, don't even open it. Just throw it. Chuck it off its fucking dome. <laughs> Jacob, you wouldn't have liked what I would have done. So. What would you have done? I'm not. I'm saving it to the next. You're gonna marry it. Oh no. No. Well, I mean, let's let's. Kind of a pale blue. Oh, why no. did you? That wasn't... Okay, good. So, so we're walking so let's, in let's here. Search this room, I guess. Pretty... Yeah. yeah. Holy so... shit. Dude, well, I, I'm not gonna I find anything. That's a that eight amazing. perception. I I I high five that. Susan. This yeah, was this, this was my plan. I yeah, love it. Congrats. I high five. No, who's no Black. whose plan was it to uh, do the the combo? Uh, that would be the bird. Oh, okay. That would be the bird. I reached he, into my he pocket. He said sensor attack, and I saw I saw an opportunity. I was like, I I gotta give him something good. Okay, I reach into my pocket and I flick him a treat. Oh. Uh, thank you. Crunch, crunch, crunch. Tastes, tastes mm. like your favorite food. What would his favorite crunch, food be? Crunch, crunch. 
No, it's mac and cheese. Oh. <laughs> Gotta be mac and cheese. That's what good pussy sounds like. Okay. Uh, um. And I'll change the salad and mashed potato. I thought you were gonna say something like cod or something. Like, I mean, you're a fit, you're a bird. You eat fish. He's bird. a weird bird. Obviously. He has many. He has many tastes. Ain't most birds lactose intolerant or can't eat cheese or some shit? Or am I just thinking of soup? I shit? don't know. I need to look into this. I think this is a this is a humanoid bird. I don't know if it would transfer. Yeah, that remind, in uh in just roll with it, there was one bird character who didn't have like sphincters, so literally he just shat everywhere. <laughs> what the frick? Okay. Because <laughs> bird, birds can't control it, so they just kind of. Okay. Well, I mean, you don't see me leaving presents. <laughs> Jeez. Sorry about that white kick. I wouldn't be opposed to don't. a dump on an enemy. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? I'll, I'll, I'll store that in the bank. You guys are flushing out this, this, this like, billionaire rich playboy dudes are gonna get away. And as soon as he steps out of the, the fucking exit and goes to hop in a wagon. <laughs> I'm just <laughs> standing, <laughs> standing up above him. Yeah, the bird is perched <laughs> over the edge. <laughs> that is a bullseye. It's like, it's, it's like that scene from I think it was uh, <laughs> Groundhog Day. I think it was Groundhog Day, where it's like the the guy ends up getting sick and he throws up in this other dude's car. And the moment the guy, <laughs> like this guy and the girl leaves and he doesn't pay attention, he goes to sit in his car and there's just puke on the driver's seat. <laughs> and he sits down and you hear this squishing noise. He just like kind of gets a look on his face and he just like slides over. The girl looks down and she starts puking on him. <laughs> <laughs> I I will I will try to I will try to store that in the death bank. Anyway, um, let's check this room. Is there any loot? Uh, you check. You're looking around. I saw some tasty morsels of marrow that remain, and three dead ghouls. No, there is nothing. Oh, there. okay. Do ghouls have pockets? <laughs> uh, they got <laughs> fucked up loin. They they have raggedy ass uh shit wrapped around their passage. Uh, their calves and uh, forearms I and loincloths. I don't think they could hide anything in there. In other words, yes. I know that, that at the length of that loincloth, you probably hide something in there. Okay, fine. Jeez. I guess I'll, I'll guess I'll loot this ghoul's body. <laughs> so you're gonna reach into the loincloth? Yeah. No, not like that. No, I'm just. That's the same. Now you got a handful of ghoul dick. I think that's no. called necrophilia. Hand full of gold. <laughs> no, there's nothing in this room. Okay. okay. Damn. So I suppose, do you guys want to head over to the east? I don't know. Just, I'm going to assume everybody knows about the strange sloshing sounds to the north. Yeah. Then. Presumably the north. The west. Northwest something. Where I need to go. Oh, well, yeah, northwest, but I'm at, like, north end of the tunnel. Yeah. Uh, we can, we can so go. As far as you know, it could be anywhere in this section. Okay, um, yeah, but I'm not opposed to going east. Yeah, that's maybe the greatest first. That sounds like a good idea. I'm sorry? This is maybe the greatest first. Yeah, let's go east first. Let me go ahead and fix this up real quickly. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, echo, 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 echo. Ah! Uh. <laughs> <laughs> Which is funny because I don't hear an echo. Yeah, I know. All right, so uh, there is a little room there. Uh, a little. Well, I suppose Despite we should re-engage stealth. Yeah, should we re-roll stealth? Sure. Is everyone re-rolling stealth, or is uh? Twenty-three. Twenty-three. All right, yeah. well, it's Rutscat because I know you're sending Rutz with Kalak again. Another twenty-three too. <laughs> okay, so the twenty-three brothers move. <laughs> Susan, you know, not not being able to see the sides that's just hang back. He goes, yeah, I, I tried last time. That's a, no, that's some bullshit. <laughs> um, despite yes. destruction all around the northern part of the storage area, it survived intact. 
Uh, the eastern wall of this chamber has collapsed into a massive pile of rubble. A massive rubble, I'm sorry. We're in room uh, seven, right? Uh, yes. Okay. To the north, a door stands ajar, leading into a good-sized story room. I suppose... From, from the peak. crack in the door, you can see some dusty kegs tucked neatly against the walls. Uh, what do you want to do? I guess I'm going to peeky peek. Yep. Peeky peek. All right. Into the store? Yeah. Yep. All right. You get a better look at the dusty kegs, and you see that not all of them are cracked and split open from age. It's uncomfortable, but the storage room looks like a could looks like it could be a secure resting area. Um, oh. You pretty much cleared out everything around this area. Uh, the door are there is any torches? Surprisingly good shape. It could be easily blocked or barred from the inside. There is two scones on the walls. I uh, light them. Okay. Sconces. So there's sconces. Thank you. So there's two sconces, one to the east, one to the west, in the room. If it's safe. Rutz is probably going to waddle back and tell everyone that it's safe and they can come with us. <clears throat> Alright. So everyone makes their way into the little storage room of seven. And, uh... I suppose I'm going to roll perception to see what's in here. I doubt there's much, but... Um... That's in that 20, the... not that I need it for this. The kegs... The context of the kegs have long evaporated. There is nothing but empty, busted kegs. Damn. Okay. I mean, this is kind of what I figured with roll perception anyway, you know? Yeah. I suppose we can north. So you're looking at the map that Gunner gave you. You're getting a decent idea. He doesn't have, like, a full map of the whole area. You guys don't have a full map of the whole area. But for the general makeshift scribble that he has on here, you've, you've covered a good portion, probably almost about half of the air, half of the night. Not a very big mine. Jeez. Yeah, they're playing out of well, here. each one of them squares is 10 feet, so... Okay. I mean, I suppose still not a very big mine. Yeah. Uh, I suppose north yeah. or west. Yep. North. Yeah. Alright, so you guys want so to... re-engaging stealth. Alright, yeah. prepare for echo. 22. Yay. Uh, oh. oh god. Okay, this one's not as good. Dude. Why? Yes, sir. Ruts, Ruts did not get so lucky this time. He did not manage to get over 20. Yeah, what, what did he get? But he did get 19. Yeah, 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 yeah. Something tells me that'll do. I can't. Okay. Ah, this is gonna be fun. <laughs> Let's zoom in a little bit for kind of areas here. <clears throat> All right. So, Roots and uh, collect. You um, guys are gonna go in. Hey, hey. Map's not up. Hey, give me a fucking second. I don't know. Echo is still here. I don't know. Oh, thank God. You sneak in and you see that you're you're in the low standing area of the of the cavern. Um, you you get a good idea. Like you're still your thing's still active. So you still got a good twenty thirty minutes left on it. Uh, this cave one you you get a sense that this looked like a banquet room meeting room or something. Uh, steep, steep is is camp escarpments divide this large cavern into three sections. High ledges at either end and a lower section in the middle. Carved stone stairs step stairs. Stairs climb up to the ledges. Two large tables stand in the middle section along with a pair of old brazier. Oh. Braziers. No, I was going to say a pair of uh, old pair of brazers. I, for some reason, it's pair of old brazers. A smaller table stands on the eastern ledge. The skeleton remains of a dozen dead warriors, dwarves, gnomes, ogres, orcs. Oh, God. Attest to the 
fierceness of the fighting that took place here long ago. However, on the western ledge, because you have... Oh, wait, what? No. What the fuck was that? What? Maybe that was part of the ambience, but it sounded like a door shut. That was probably the ambience. Yeah, that's that probably was the ambience. Yeah. Are you home alone? Everybody else is sleeping. Yeah, it's the ambience. I heard it again. Okay. <laughs> so. Wait, give me a head heart attack. Wait, give me one second. I got it. So what the? What? what the it, it's, I'm reading the, through the campaign, like, two parts of it. Uh, it's just like, I don't understand what that word means or the wording of it, but it's What's fine. the word? I can't tell you that because you haven't done a perception check. Okay, I'll do a perception. Well, perception check. So, so only, only 21. Only, aren't so only Ruts and... Salty. technically high. Okay, Ruts rolled in that one, so... Uh-huh. So, Ruts is... This, this, Staring at Kalak. Kalak, you see this, this campments are 10 feet high and they would require decent athletics to climb. Um, you also hear something from the western ledge. Oh, you hear no. More movement, more gnawing, more crunching. Uh oh. Yeah. <sighs> Do because I see. The, would it be. Possible? Is there anything on the east side? Uh, nothing that you can see or hear. Okay. Do, do I see any intact spines? What? Do I see any intact skeletal spines? Yeah. Um, not from your location, no. Okay. So, I mean, I Just... suppose I retreat and say there are more ghouls up on the top there. Alright. Yes, Rox goes with him. He doesn't want to be left and alone. And would I... Yeah. And I would, would, saying, would I be able I to... Realize... In... Hmm? I just realized that you have a, I think you have dark vision of 60 feet, and each one of these squares are 10 feet, so yeah, you would not be able to see on top of the uh, western ledge. Ah, uh, I mean... Are close enough to see? Uh, he could, with a fucking stealth score like that. I mean, we, we can say I wandered over to check the noise. Alright, so you want to make a go at those stairs... Or not climbing up, so I'm just getting close enough to peek over. Yeah, well, you'd have to climb at least halfway up because it's 10 feet fucking high. Yeah, no, I'm just saying, I'm just peeking over. Just enough to see. Yeah. Nothing to oh, see here. Note. That was a nat one. Oh, thank God. <laughs> Too busy crunchy munching. Yeah, yeah, yeah there's uh, it's a lot of dry, crunchy, munchy noises. Um, so, yeah, you see four ghouls. On this western ledge. Okay, I suppose I retreat and and inform people of this. And I'm assuming oh, I could I, see that there was another stair stairwell down, right? The well, stairs we saw that to the before. south. Yeah. We saw yeah, because you're you're getting the idea. Why did I click on that? I wanted one on the map and one. Okay, there we go. Um, sorry, I had to fix it. So yeah, so. And that was part of the, the wording that I was getting off because on six it says three ghouls from the pack in area nine are here. Then in area nine it says there are seven ghouls lurking in the show, so I've subtracted three. Uh what? That's correct. Yeah, no, that's what? Okay. Yeah, so you can't get to nine without getting at least somehow past three or six. Well, like I'm just moving past it. Around. Yeah, technically you can't avoid it. Yeah. So three ghouls from the pack in Area 9 are here. And then there's supposed to be seven in Area 9, so that I'm assuming that means that there's only four left. We're going with four. Okay. Yeah, so there's four left. You guys make it back to tell the people, hey, there's four ghouls in that room. Do we want to do Operation Pincer again? Sure. Because there aren't two stairwells. So I suppose the non stealthy people would go past six in the hallways. Okay. 
And then the stealthy people would come through nine up that one stairwell. Okay. Droop cover is Denrock. Denrock, do you have any objections to this? No. Okay. Susan's going to go ahead and roll a stealth to join you. Do I stick with my roll or do I do another one? Uh, do another one, yeah. Because, uh, I mean, technically. Uh, uh, I mean, it's, an, it's an 18. Rut's got a... Uh, Rut's has... High enough, I can tell you that. Hold up. 23. Wow. Yeah. Rut's leading the charge. Um, so then the other three guys are gonna go... around the other way? Yeah. yeah. Alright. Uh, should I have them roll stealth anyway, just in case? Uh, I mean, you guys can, yeah. Okay. Uh, Droop got 14... Alright. Kyberis and Denrock. Uh, Kyberis has... Man, fuck these dice. They're so awkward. Kyberis also has 15. Alright. Uh, Denrock. Oh, Danny boy. Danny Denrock. Yes? Stealth roll? Well, wait, what? Stealth roll. Why... I mean, I definitely fail, so... Yeah. God. Yeah, I did fucking fail. I rolled a four, and I have a, I believe, a disadvantage on the stealth. Yes, so roll again, you might get lower. Well, I mean, you guys are attacking on the second wave, so it might so not like matter. Six total stealth? We aren't being, we aren't sneaking through anywhere, just in case they perceive that. Yeah, I, yeah, I mean, we're, the stealthy boys are attacking first, and then you guys are coming out okay, second wave well, like before. Like anything with stealth, no. So the stealthy boys are moving towards the stairs on the east. As the other three are moving to the stairs on the south, uh, you hear some sloshing noises. Uh, and, uh, from, oh. With the clink clack of someone's armor, oh god! You yeah. see this very large, yellowish jelly slurp around from. It looks like it's just water pouring in at first, but it doesn't flow like water. Like it doesn't follow regular physics of, you know, spreading. It. It moves very slowly and twitchy towards you as you make your way towards the southern uh, staircase. Dan Rock, Droop, and Primeras. Wait, hold on. I know. I know we're about to roll initiative. Can I do a thing to tell what this thing is? Uh, you can roll a history check. Okay. Or basic intelligence check, I guess. I Dear God. Okay. Well, uh. What would it in? Do it. Check it's fine. History. Thirteen. Total. Yeah, total thirteen. All right. So you know this is of the jelly family. It's an ooze. But by its size, considering it's a giant fucking puddle of ooze, it's a it, uh, it's of the large size. Um. You don't think that it's going to fit in one of the cans Dan Rock has. <laughs> Some funny flavor text there. Okay, initiative. Yes, I'm going to need y'all to roll initiative. The three of you. So it's it's right now it's Ruts, Kavera, yeah. It's Droop, Kavera, oh, and Droop. Uh, Dan Rock. Yeah. Okay. Dan Rock. I reassure them, we got this. We're good. Somehow I think you guys would, might have gotten the harder target. I hope so, because he just rolled a net one. Oh! Wow! Same as Danrock. This is good. Oh, are you serious? I rolled a two, but I have a minus one, so it's a one. Yeah, but you didn't roll a net one, so you still... This is I'm true. just barely above him, even though it's the um, number of the same. Oh, why am I... Fucking goes on your turn. Why do I have four cards open? So I'm assuming 
that you can beat a one, okay, Varys? Yeah, I rolled 11. Okay. Yeah. So before we... Uh, it would be a surprise round for our stealthy boys. What do you plan on doing? You don't know this is happening? Yeah, no, I would assume we would just take one each like before. Yeah. Susan looks at you guys. Do the same? Yeah. yeah. True. Uh, Ruts would probably notice that we're not... Well, You're not mind. at the He's stairs yet? Yeah. Well, I mean, you guys yeah. were supposed to come in after also, anyway. Also, he has zero uh, plus zero intellect and wisdom, so I'm going to assume that he's not smart enough to think like, oh, hey, they're not there yet. So, yeah. Rutz is in it. Rutz kind of like, you know, gets a little like little quick squint in the eyes when something's like, oh, what the fuck? And then goes back to it. Um, I'm going to need all three of our stealthy boys to roll hits. 25. Twenty-two. Ruts needs to roll. Uh, Eighteen. All right. That uh, all let me, hits. Let, let me clarify first. He's not doing dagger. Primal savagery. Primal savagery. Oh. Yeah. Oh. Uh. Well. Yeah. What is this? Uh, it does more want, damage, so I wanted to use it. You want to explain to our boys in blue what that does? Okay, so primal savagery, you channel primal magic, cause your teeth or fingernails to sharp, ready to deliver a corrosive oh. attack, make a melee spell attack again. Oh. Within five feet of you. Okay, never mind. Okay. On a hit, the target takes 1d10 acid damage. After you make attack, your teeth or fingernails are turning. But... Since his his level is high enough, he rolled two D, but it has to be within ten feet of him. Yes. I mean, we yeah, are doing we're, melee attacks. You're next, yeah, you're next to them. Oh, so you I can thought, do this. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So. Okay. His, uh, his nails like, are glowing green. I guess ready to fucking right. inflict so some poison. So, what was damage. your what was your well acid? But what was your roll to hit? Eighteen. Yeah. Uh, 18. <laughs> oh yeah. I'll do you be hit. So let me go ahead. Um, go ahead and do yours first, and we'll do ours because this is new, and I want—I'm excited. I want to hear it. Fourteen. How much? Fourteen. Fourteen. Yeah. Total. Yes. All right. Oh, that's yeah, that's hard. Uh, Black. Twelve. Oh, oops! Didn't mean to do that. You said 12? Yeah. Alright. for... Uh, I'm getting really bad D6 rolls. Lots of twos. Yeah. So those three are hurting. And as you go to look over to... Uh, I'm sorry. Uh, the, as Rutz looks over to the stairway, he still doesn't see anyone else. So I'm going to need our three stealthy boys to roll initiative. Oh, dear God. Not 20. Oh, dear God. <laughs> Drew's going to, yeah, Drew for Rutz will go on down on your turn. Um, Wait. I, um, I figured since Rutz isn't with me, he would do his own initiative. Oh, sure, yeah, if you want to do that. Well, that'd be a 22. Okay, I'll have some here, because I don't have an idea how this is going to work. Um, it's a new landmark, two battles at once. Yeah. I know! <laughs> I'm excited to see how it goes. Why do I feel like we're going to go and check what happened to them and just find a pile of bones and armor? Uh, no, no meta gaming, but stay the fuck away from the ooze. <laughs> I'm assuming the ooze is between us and the stairwell. Probably. 
kind of curious if my ooze can talk to the ooze. <laughs> that would be hilarious. I have languages. So, top of the round is Kalak. With All right. Nat 20. I'm going to go for the full health guy with a double attack. What full health guy? There's no full health guy. Well, we only had... there four. Yeah, yeah, there were four. four. Oh, there was four. That's right. Yeah. Oh, fuck. All right. So it leaves one full health guy. Uh, that's a 13 and a 17. Both those it. Oh, okay. I would take it. Uh, do I get sneak attack on this? Uh, no, because he would be to your right, Ruts and Susan are to your left. Okay, frick. All right. Uh, it'll be 14. Total? Yes. I mean, it's only 2d6 plus 12. Alright. Um, so that is both your turns. That is Rutz's turn. Uh, Rutz is gonna <laughs> use uh, poison spray on the one that he used Primal Savagery. Okay. So that's oh. a con save for them. I'm gonna hate to break this to you. Ghouls are immune to poison. Oh, are they? Okay. Yes. So, is that like, it? Did he just... Like, if that was, like, I would actually make you waste a spell if you were having rolled a hit, but with a con save, I'm just gonna go ahead and tell you, they're, they're immune to poison. You can't damage them with poison. Okay. Damage. So, is that his turn then? Or... No, I'll let you recon that. Recon that. Okay. Uh, thanks. Crossbow. Then. Okay. Okay. Which one is he attacking? The one that Kalak attacked. Okay, so that, that's a good 10, 10, 15 feet away. Okay. Uh, 18 to hit. The hits? Okay. Oop, wrong dice. 8 damage. Uh. Yeah, that's enough. Sweet. Nice. Crossbow bolt flies through the air, lands right between the eyes. Yes. Hey, I believe he has a second attack. Uh, yeah. Um. Shit, can he use primal savagery more than once? Yeah, I guess he yes. can. Intro. Yeah. So fuck it, primal savagery again. Mm hmm. On the one that's right in front of him again. Uh, Alright. 18 hit. plus 3. That hits. Yeah, 16 damage. That thing is dead. Damn. Shit. Ruts, you're pretty cool. You just bit a guy in half. <laughs> Damn! Oh, that should be a grisly taste. So that's Susan. Pale chicken. <laughs> um, <laughs> that is now immediately spits or, out. Or are we treating this all as one encounter? Sorry. Yes. My that bad. is now the orchid jelly's turn. Uh, and that thing is going to. Oh, yeah. I sense I don't know my you, kind if, imprisoned. If you ask, uh, answer my question or not, but I'm I'm assuming that the jelly is between us and the stairway. Uh, it's at that corner, like where. What's up? So you guys are here. It is here. Oh shit! Okay. So it is within. Like you guys are. Ten feet away. It looks. Yeah. Yeah, this this is a Mexican showdown. Right. Yeah. So the jelly with I'm looking at something real quick with that. It is going to attack Droop. It looks hungry. And it's going to make a swing with its Is this the right one? That's not the right one. Uh, pseudopod. That 
that is definitely going to miss. That is a 13. Yep. Yep, that misses. Simply just take a step back. Gareth? Um, <laughs> that is you and Troops turn. Gareth? Gareth? Yes? Are you okay? <laughs> Are you good, man? Do we, do we need to? Yeah, it's getting really late, sadly. Yeah, should should we finish this battle and then pack up? Yeah. I'm yeah, let's barely barely staying awake. Sorry. Yeah, let's let's finish this battle and then we'll call it. Sacred flame. Sacred flame. That's can save. Dex save. Dex save. Uh, <laughs> glad you paid attention, cause uh, Dex is not this thing's fucking strong suit. That is a minus two to. That's a nine. And Oof. If not fails. Yeah. Okay, that is ten damage. Oh, nice. Droop. Uh, oh, yeah, droop. Uh, Eldritch Blast is the way. Alright. Um, oh, wait, what if I. Nah, Eldritch Blast. I was gonna say Eldritch Blast is pretty much just like cookie cutter warlock shit now. <laughs> okay, mm. I rolled a 19 plus 5, 24. Oh, yeah, that hits. One, and a nat 20 on the second beam. Yeah, that hits. So okay. roll your 3d10, add four. Add, add two to each, or is it. Oh, wait, no, because it's the same target, right? Yeah, okay. Yeah. Well, so... you, would, you would still add two to each. Yeah. Uh,. Well, you would add four total, so just roll 3d10, add four, because it's the same target. 22. Jesus Christ. Um, yeah, there's not a point in me trying to fucking throw random shit at you guys. The fucking book shit doesn't work anymore. <laughs> um, Alright, that is now Susan's turn. Susan's going to take a swing at one of the ghouls in front of him. You can always modify them, give them a little extra health or an interesting attack. Uh, that is... See, this, they have an AC of... Fuck, yep. Yeah, Susan stumbles over... Because he can't see, he stumbles over one of the legs of the, the dead... One of the dead ones you guys killed. Oh, misses. And it is Danrock's turn. Yay. So, I'm in front of this ooze, right? Yes. So, I, I roll advise, to attack. I would advise you to stay back if you could. Uh, I will dash into attack and dash out. How about that? I'm going to take an attack of opportunity. Well, I'm attacking. I roll a, a 20... One. To hit? Yeah. Right. And that is a 11 damage. That would be 11 damage, but as your axe comes down onto the jelly, you see it splits into two. Wait. And now there's two jellies. And now there's two jellies. Oh no, not this gimmick. Minecraft slime. I was having Enter the Gungeon flashbacks more than that, but okay. That works too. Which one's more iconic? Who's next? En Enter now, the Gungeon's a better says, game. You now, you now have two medium jellies. I'll just do a little googling here. Uh, you want to calm the fuck down there? Garrett, you have another attack, sir. I'm not googling anything about D&D, &D, don't worry. Uh, Karis, like, wait, <laughs> fuck. Well, I could use a spell and do a command duel. Compel duel. Right. No, I'll just roll again. Two that hits. What? That does six damage. Okay. So, what are you doing? I. Roll to attack one of the medium slimes. I rolled it. Yeah. Uh, 
Yeah, um, your axe goes through the jelly and it does nothing. As a bonus action, I I had something for this. I don't know. How, do you have any spells? Nothing that oh does my damage. God. Ah. Omega said, enter the gungeon was more iconic. It is. There are three million copies of Enter the Gungeon Old and yep, two I million use million of Divine more. Smite with it. Radiant damage. I mean, the radiant damage would hit. Minecraft as a whole is an inferior game. Then I use, do radiant damage. Then I use Divine Smite, use one of my spell slots. Okay. I roll. That is a one. Uh, you can expend one spell to deal two d eight. So add two. That is five, six, seven, eight, nine, nine damage. Nine damage. All right. One jelly is pitiful. One With jelly eight. is decent. And I fucked up the order before. It was supposed to be the ghouls that attacked last turn. The ghouls will attack this yeah. turn. Yeah. But we're not with the ghouls. We're in a different. No, no, line. because I the two got the are happening order... at the same time. Yeah, I got the order mixed up. I forgot to change the cards out from your guys' to the false order. The the jelly rolled in that one. It was supposed to go last in the order. And the ghouls were supposed to go third after Ruts and Kalak. But I fucked that order up, so now it is the ghouls' turn. The ghouls will attack. One will attack Kalak. Figures. Oh, wait, all right, hold on. I'm using the wrong day. No, that's still Kalak. The other one will attack Susan. We're going to go with a 15? Nope. Ooh, How big is the thing? The belly? <laughs> yeah. You have two yeah. roughly six foot high puddles of jelly. They're I think I can size. stack it. Stack it. Stack it. It could just ooze through the material. To be fair. Yeah, I'm just going to. Jelly can it. move through a space as narrow as one inch wide without squeezing. Much. Anyway, go on. Sorry. Uh huh. Uh huh. Two D four. God damn this fucking eclipse. That is four damage. But this one claws at Susan. Can save. Uh, can I use my reaction to block the attack on Susan? Uh, no. No? I mean, you can use your reaction to attack it, yeah, before it throws. I mean, I've already rolled the attack and done the damage it's a little late now. Oh, sorry. It's okay, it's okay. Uh, Susan saves. Um, <clears throat> it is back up to your turn, though. Okay, well, let's just attack the nearest one. Alright, well, there's two left. It's a 14. It's hit? Yeah, it hits. That would be 12 damage. He is dead. And let's attack the other one. That would be a 22. That's, that's a hit. And can I do sneak attack on this one? Uh, yeah, you could have done. Yeah. Fourteen. As dead. Okay. So that's the goals cleared, right? Mm -hmm. So I suppose we go and check what's happening, right? You can. You still have movement. Yeah, I start heading towards the other stairwell. 
Alright, so you can make it. You have a speed of 30? Yeah. Alright, so one, two, three. You make it to the top of the stairwell. Okay. And with your dark vision, you can see at the bottom of the stairwell two. Black has dark vision? I have my eyepiece on. Oh, right. His eyepiece still has a little bit of movement left in it. Um. Uh, sorry, I was doing some calculations. Uh, so yeah, you look down, you see your companions in battle with a two what look like slime creatures. And I make sure to call this out to both Susan and Drutz. Yeah, uh, well it's Drutz's turn, and I'm assuming he's gonna come running, because Papa Caveras ain't there. So, I have a qu if I use an action to dash, can I use my, can I still take up uh, you would still have one action. Okay, so Rutz is gonna dash down the stairs just to make it there, and then use his, uh, ooh, shit, poison spray on um, one of the slimes, I guess. And that's a constitution saving for the, for the slime. Fifteen. He passes. Shit. Right, so that is that. Uh, that's his turn, right? Yeah, that's... Uh, yeah. Alright, well, since I fucked this up and had them move before, it is going to be the Uzi's turn. He's going to go after... Goddamn, Troop again. Oh, the poor guy. Oh, yeah, there's two of them now. So that's going to be a 17 to hit. Just hits. Damn. That is nine bludgeoning damage and three acid damage. Total of 12. That one is going to attack you, Kevers. Me? What? Me? Oh, no, it can't attack Kevers. It's got to attack... Uh... Oh, yeah, it can attack Kevers. I'll take him. I don't fucking know what to think of him. Wouldn't Danrock between, be between the two of us? Yes, I would have a thing. Yeah, but do we really want to... Yeah, we couldn't really do anything anyway. Unless you want to cast your thing. Well, you can't cast Smite as an opportunity attack. Oh, okay. I do have unhanded attack. Well, I don't know if that will do damage. You want to punch that a slime fun. that can suck <laughs> hit. I mean... It's better than it's... Does a 17 hit your armor? No, it does not. Okay, then. That is now... Kyberis and Troop's turn. Thank god you took that blow for me. Uh, okay, so Kyberis is going to cast a third level Starbound Finger at the healthiest looking at the healthiest looking one. Yeah, have third level spell slots unlocked. Yeah. Makes sense. I, I only have two of them though. So yeah, that is a 18 to hit. Yeah, it hits. Okay. Ah, second spell slider higher by D8. Okay, so uh, there's the D8. Uh, second spell slider higher. So I'm rolling three D8s here. Okay, so that's 15 fire damage. Um, yeah. So this thing withers and just evaporates. Oh. 
Dang. I didn't even get to add on the additional fire damage. Huh. <laughs> For the con save? No. Yeah. He is dead. Okay. And that, wh what other one is it? Droop? Droop is... There's one ooze left, and it's... It's piddly. Uh... Uh... Fuck. Fuck it. Poison... Poison missile. Poison missile, finally. A third level. Wait. I can only cast it at third level. Shit. Oh. Oh, <laughs> yeah, oh dear god. A, he's a warlock. Yeah. Yeah, it was the thing I was talking about with warlocks is they're bullshit. <laughs> oh, that's 3d8. Oh, wait, no, what? You would use a first level, you, you would use a third level spell slot to cast a first level spell. Yeah, I don't have any first level spell slots. Yeah, but that's what I'm trying to figure this out, is like, why would it not pump up to a level three? That is fucking stupid. So would I still be casting it at first level? Or at yeah, it would, st it would still be a first level, because it says first. Yeah, Wait, are you serious? Level. Yes. But I thought first level spells when casted higher became higher grade. That's what I thought so too. Yeah, but it only says it says only first level above the cast option. Normally, least, it would say something the, higher above the cast. Let me see something. Let me see something. Let me see something. Who here? Oh, I know how I can figure this out. Oh, because I might be reading that wrong. I think I'm reading it wrong. Right off, I need you for a moment. Let me look at your spells. Because I'm getting the feeling I'm reading that wrong. Actually, wait, you know what? Fuck the poison thing anyway. If I can't cast it at third level, then I don't want to use it. Never mind. It is a third. It would be a third level. So, can I cast it at third level? It would be a third level, yes. Because it that first is just telling you that it is a first level spell being casted at that level. It is a differentiation between the level of spells. Like, for Radoff, Healing, uh, healing Word is a first level spell, and Heat Metal is a second level spell. <clears throat> so having that first there and it being in blue is to tell you that, hey, this is a first level spell. Well, you know, I've... Cast it as a... So, do I... Can I still change my spell, or am I stuck with Poison Missile? You can cast Poison Missile if you want. Well, I was going to switch to Hellish Rebuke if I could. Oh, that's fine. Okay. So, casting a third level Hellish Rebuke, he makes a dex save. Alright. Where is it? That's a one. Damn. Yeah. Thought it was a four, and I was like, oh, that's going to be a fucking six. It's going to fail. Nope, nope, that one. Eh. Okay, so... Get ready to fucking burn, bitch. <laughs> yeah, because this is what, 68 or D10? Sizzle, sizzle. Uh, yeah. When you cast a spell using a spell slot at second level or higher, the damage increases by 1D10 for each spell slot. You're casting this at third level, so that would be 6D10. Oh my no, lord. Let's do it online then, Jesus Christ. Oh no, it'll be 4d10, I'm so sorry. Oh, okay. It that already seems... Just... Well, it's dead. <laughs> okay, so should I just... Am I, I'll roll 4 then, okay. I'm not going to lie. If you roll all 1s, you still kill the thing. Oh, yeah, because I, I rolled 2 1s, a 2, and a 4, so 8. Yeah. Oh, it's double dead. Nice. Yep, so it all just... Right. Little. One is out of combat. Okay. I mean, I suppose we should all go into that storeroom, take a rest. Yeah. Then we'll meet back here. Sounds like a plan. So I'm assuming this doesn't count as a short rest on a long rest? 
Well, it depends on how long we're here for. Well, I was going to say, you, you haven't been there long enough to justify having another long rest, so... Yeah. We'll rest. Yeah. I'm going to go ahead and stop streaming. So, I'm going to do short rest. I like to watch Nickelodeon. It's okay, bye. <laughs> All the tactical, <laughs> it's so tactical, it's all over the walls. <laughs>